what's up everyone welcome back to the channel today I'm just gonna do a little video on the state of War Thunder in 1.99 uh, there's a few topics I want to talk about and you know the state of the game as it's in right now I got a few problems with it specifically aircraft in top tier there's a lot of balancing issues I think uh, you know for example in the American tree it, I mainly play American so I'll just talk about them but uh, it, most of it stems from like uh, missiles most of the aircraft really perform about the same um, but it's it's about the uh, balancing so the F4C Phantom 2 is uh, a 10.3 and we'll take the f100 d for example so the f100d is a 10.0 the f4c phantom is a 10.3 now um i guess you could say the f100 is considered a supersonic it can go supersonic but anyone that has uh the f100d or the f4c just knows the phantom completely outperforms the f100 and i think I think this problem stems possibly with a you know compression of the BRs because there's there's not as many um, top tier jets in the game so the performance gaps between the existing ones and the ones they're continuously adding is uh, a pretty big problem especially with the missiles and the missiles is something I really want to talk about too uh, because the F4E, for example, has 20G missiles, um, and that's like the top of the top. And as a 10.3, you're going to get into 9.3 uh, matches and above. So planes that are 9.3s, like the F3H2, um, F104s, those are 10.0. But the, the, the missiles is really what I want to talk about for airplanes. Because when I notice, especially when you're grinding, there's the aim nine E's, I think are the better ones. Um, but they're still only like 10 G's and um, most of the, the top tier planes, um, now that the missile meta has kind of sank in for close to a year now, um, or maybe over a year, but uh, a lot of people, it's, it's not something a lot of people get caught off guard from now. So, um, the problem with the 20G missiles is that, say you're in the F F3H2 or the F100D and you're trying to grind your way to the Phantom, um, I tried hopping into a match in the F100D, uh, I had a previous uh, uh, comment on one of my video videos asking if I could make a video on the F100D, which I probably will soon, but... Uh, in the process of getting back in the rhythm of playing uh, top tier air realistic, it was not enjoyable. P playing the F-100D and even the F-4C Phantom without the uh, 20G missiles was just not fun at all. It, it really wasn't. Because the problem is, is the plane's uh, flight performance in and of itself isn't really the problem. It's the weapon systems. So if when you're getting paired into matches with these planes that have, you know, really really good high G missiles, it's almost impossible um, go a match without just getting wrecked by a 20 G missile. And I th I think that flares should be added to the F4C Phantom 2, not just the F4E. Um, I have no idea if the F-100 actually had flares in real life, but um, there's there's a huge problem there that I see, and it makes the game not really enjoyable. And some of this uh, is kind of due to the grinding problem, right? So the F-4E top of the line was 390,000 think yeah 390,000 um that's a lot that's a lot of rp 
especially if you don't have a premium vehicle or a premium account. Um, for example, I'll take a tier or a rank one aircraft, say like, or a rank two, the TBF one C is like seven thousand nine hundred RP. That's maybe, you know, one match if you're good. You know, five if you're bad. Um, other rank two planes, eleven thousand RP, and so you can grind through the lower tiers pretty quickly. But the farther you go up in the tiers, if you don't have premium planes or a premium premium account, the amount of time that it takes to grind to the top, paired with the almost unplayable. Uh, gameplay at top tier where if you don't have the top of the top then you're just getting wrecked and for a lot of new players that's just not fun um and pre you know that, that it's just not fun premiums part of the grind problem or well well premiums are basically a testament to the grind problem because gaijin knows that the grind is absolutely terrible and the premiums wouldn't be there uh, for real money if they didn't know that the grind was absolutely terrible. So they want people to buy these high tier, uh, high rank premiums in order to help grind out to the higher ranks. Same with the premium account. Uh, Gaijin knows that the grind is pretty unbearable. And to those higher tiers... You know, I've been playing War Thunder since, what, uh, 2014, so I'm going on six years just casually playing. I still don't have um, all of the planes unlocked in the American tree. I still don't have all the planes. Um, and that's, that's a problem, because like a lot of the new players, a lot of my friends that I've tried to get um, into this game, just get turned off by the grind. And honestly, I get where they're coming from. And there's a solution to this problem that, you know, I'm not the first to think of this. But look, there's there's two distinct areas of the game that I guess uh, you can talk about. So that'd be like late World War II props. So like the P-51H5 or the F-7F, 84, stuff like that. And then there's those really early jets like the F-80, F-2H, uh, planes like that. And I think uh, the more, the farther the game goes into the future, this isn't so much for tanks because um, I know the tanks go up pretty modern. I think it's M1A2 Abrams. So, you know, the tanks are pretty much caught up. To present day um, there's not really many more you know tanks they can add but for the planes so you got so we're at the F4E in modern day we got you know F35s F22 Raptors so there's still a lot more planes to be added before it catches up with uh, modern day and I think this would this would be a really good opportunity for Gaijin to do something with the game because the more planes they add, um, the more you're just going to have to grind. The more RP each plane is going to cost. And I think a good solution to this is splitting the game. Split the game to where you can choose to start at say like the F3, F2, so like World War One. You can choose to start at World War One biplanes and grind out to late World War Two props, which would be like the golden era, the top tier of props. Or you could choose to start at early jets, like the F-80, F-2H, and you can grind out to modern day jets. And I think for a lot of new people joining the game, this would be really beneficial because a lot of the ads that War Thunder throws out there shows these modern vehicles, the modern tanks, the modern planes. But when people actually hop in the game and they have to see how much time that they actually have to spend in order to get to those aircraft, it's a total turnoff. 
It really is. And uh, I get people. I get people that just aren't interested in doing that. And I don't blame them, you know. Um, back when I started the game, I think the best jet you could, yeah, the best jet you could get was the F-86 F-2, the Saber. So, it wasn't like um, there were a lot of jets in the game, or it was that hard to grind all the way to it. Because you could basically just go all the way down the, um, the fighter tree especially on the American line, and just grind straight down. It really wouldn't take you that long. And uh, nowadays, especially if they're going to be adding more and more planes, like the F-104, F-104C, they just added those. There's the F-3H2. I, I can't imagine uh, the, uh, the amount of planes they're going to be adding in the future, especially if they keep going down the line. So... There's there's some problems uh, with War Thunder here, and there's really only one solution that I see, which would be splitting the game. So, and the same could be said about the tanks too, because there's a it's kind of there's a pretty distinct line where the cutoff begins between sort of older World War II technology, Korean War, Vietnam era tanks, which would be like rank five. And then where the modern MBTs start, um, like the T-95, um, M1 Abrams, IPM-1, which would be rank six and seven. Um, which has the eight ads and so so there's there's like a really distinct cutoff between late I would say late Korean War or Vietnam era tanks and the beginning of modern main battle tanks that would also be a good place to cut off because a lot of the new players that come to the game aren't interested in grinding all the way through World War II and I, it's honestly driving away a lot of the player base. Um, same with uh, top tier tank gameplay is pretty fun, which is what's playing right now. Uh, but but that that's because it's balanced. Uh, so I bought the XM1. It's a 9.3, basically a prototype to the Abrams. Um, I bought it just to help with the grind, because especially grinding um tanks takes forever a good match a really good match even with a premium uh vehicle i don't run premium account usually i might get like 9000 rp max really good match and that's with a premium vehicle and some of these later abrams yeah it's 400,000 rp and there's like one, two, three, four. You could technically say there's like four different Abrams that you have to grind through. So that's over a million RP. That's an extraordinary amount. That would that takes so much time. And you know, for a lot of people, it's just not worth it. It's just not that enjoyable. I have a lot of fun with the XM1. Uh, you, it doesn't have armor, or a lot of armor. You just kind of have to be sneaky with it. Really mobile, which I like. But uh, as far as planes go, at this tier, the planes in ground realistic at 9.3 around then, they are actually really balanced. So... That's fun. That's the gameplay you'll be seeing over uh, me talking right now. But, uh, man, it's just, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the time, the game really isn't that fun. I, th I feel like ground realistic is a lot more fun than air realistic. And that, they that's actually kind of really sad because I started off just purely air realistic. I wasn't interested in tanks, but the ground realistic battle 
it's just it has you can respawn in more than one tank you can fly fly planes in the tank mode and like air realistic hasn't changed since day one pretty much it's the same thing and so it's just not worth it especially you know trying to grind out these higher your aircraft and most of the time it's just not enjoyable at all and it really saddens me to see that but um you know we can only wish and hope that Gaijin fixes the problem or else you know I'm probably not gonna even bother researching higher tier planes if you think about it say the F-15 comes around soon uh they might just go straight down the line we're on rank 6 right now so F-15s F-22s will probably be rank 7 um but like that's also going to have its own issues because there's so many other aircraft during those eras if they don't fill out these tech trees fully because it's almost like Gaijin is rushing and rushing and rushing to put out newer and newer planes without filling out the tech trees and it creates like a battle battle rating issue where these it's really not enjoyable on your on the grind up because lack of the better word most of the engagements are unfair especially with missiles it really doesn't take any skill especially with 20g missiles and your plane doesn't have flares and physically can't outmaneuver the missile but anyways that was my little rant about um state of war thunder in 1.99 and uh, I'll probably be making a video on the F-100D going probably a little farther depth into the air realistic battle problem that exists with the missiles. But I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay in the background. And I'll see y'all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.